Hold on. Yeah, you got it. It's 10 to knowledge. Ten. Oh! Whoa! Hi there. Hi, we are, we, as you know, we're all time 10s. I'm Dave, this is John. That's right, that's my name. Uh, and we're here to present 10 cool things we found on the internet this week. Yeah, so this is our brand new show, which uh, basically what happens is when we're researching all time 10s, we, we have we come across too many good things, too many too, good facts, too, too many, many good, good facts, videos. videos to kind of fit into our regular all time 10s. So, as rather a job, than waste yeah, them. Yeah, rather than waste them. We rather than put them into a video. Only problem is, over the course of a week, I think I find the best facts. And for some ridiculous reason, you think you find the best facts, don't you? Though? Yeah, because I find all the facts. Uh, there. Off, mate. So I'm going to present five facts to you. I'll present five. How many is that? That's ten. Ten. So, and we want you to tell us in the comments below who had the better facts. So, was it me? Or was it me? Cool. Let's get this shot on the road. Number number ten will be. Um, it's about Fanta. Fanta. Yeah. Beverage. Fanta was created during World War II when the attack on Pearl Harbor led to the USA to enter in the conflict. Obviously, once uh, the Americans entered the war, they weren't willing to send um, Coca-Cola or the magic ingredient that creates Coca-Cola to Nazi Germany. Makes sense. Max Keefe, who is the chief of German Coca-Cola, decided to create a new drink uh, to keep the business running. That new drink was Fanta. Cool. Um, how do they make it? If, they, if, it up, if, yeah, if, if everything's like embargoed, how do they get around it? He mixed it up with scraps that were from cheese and cider production. He blended it with sugar and named it Fanta, um, a word derived from the German for imagination. Wow, that is so, Fact so you're telling me that Fanta had cheese in it back in the day? Back originally. in the day, yeah. Wow. Sounds disgusting. He does! He does! Number nine. We'll keep on the Coke theme. There's a town in Mexico. They have pretty much complete autonomy over their own affairs. The Mexican government doesn't interfere. They don't marry from outside of the community. And they've got their own like religion that it combines like Roman Catholicism and traditional Mayan stuff. And they worship Coca-Cola as one of their... <laughs> what? Coca-Cola is considered holy to them. They think of it as a representation of a black corn maze that is thought to be sacred. And they see Coke as the the representation of that. So they use it in holy ceremonies and they drink it in the hope of being able to burp because apparently burping cleans up your soul, gets rid of bad energies and bad spirits. Here's number eight. Here's my second fact. You know YouTube? I've heard of it, yeah. Yeah, well, you know there are millions of cat videos on there. Cats and dogs on skateboards. That's all you need. You've heard of Thomas Edison as well, yeah? So far, I'm So you're board. thinking, where am I going with this? YouTube and Thomas Edison. Not only did he dream up and invent the movie camera, he also created the world's first cat video. In the summer of 1894, he brought a pair of cats into his New Jersey studio and dressed them up in tiny boxing gloves and filmed them fighting. Edison did this, yeah? That's mental. I try to be, you probably stole that idea off Tesla though. He stole Boom. most of his ideas off Tesla. Seven. We'll keep on the animal theme. Have you heard of Jack the Baboon? I haven't heard of that. <laughs> you heard of Jack the Baboon? <laughs> what a surprise. You know sometimes I've like monkey waiters in bars. Well, Jack the Baboon, yeah, was uh, employed to work on the South African Railway in the 1890s, and he used to operate the signals to let trains come and go. The train company, when they found out that one of their guys had employed this baboon to operate the trains, they fired both of them, even though one of them's a baboon, so I don't know if it, oh, you can fire a baboon. But then they tested him out to see how accurate he was, and he passed every single test that they gave him. So they rehired both of them, the baboon worked for nine years on the railway until he died and they used to pay him 20 cents a day and half a bottle of beer a week. He never made a mistake in nine years. In 1945, a German submarine was kitted out with brand new flushing toilets so complicated to use that the crew members were given training before they were allowed to use them. Uh, once aboard, one crewman opened the wrong valve to flush it causing the contents of the toilet to flood the sub's uh, batteries. The submarine had to come back to the top, where they were quickly spotted and attacked by Allied troops. Three of the crew drowned, while the remaining 37 were taken as prisoners of war. Oh, because one of them took a dump. Because they didn't use the toilet properly. Bye. I'm going to lead off now, Dave, with uh, Lydia Fairchild. She was a 26-year-old woman. She fell on hard times, lost a job. Oh, really? Um, and she needed some help from the state of Washington, you know, to help support her kids and everything. And so in order to get that support, you have to apply and get testing done to prove that the kids are yours. Okay. So they, the family went for tests, the dad's related to the kids, the kids are related to each other, but the kids aren't related to Lydia. Hold on, even though that's the birth yeah, mother. She gave, she gave birth and the doctor who was there was willing to go and testify that he was there when she gave birth, but uh, Washington State were like, no, you're a liar. 
um, these kids aren't yours, you're probably a surrogate mum who've been paid to have these, we're going to take your kids away. Okay. And eventually she convinced one lawyer to take her case and as he took the case another similar story started to emerge. It's like, how is this even possible, you know? It turns out that both of the women, Lydia included, had uh, a rare condition called chimerism and essentially they have two sets of DNA. The mum oh, has two sets of DNA because when they were conceived, the two fetuses merge and so the little bit of DNA from the other would have been baby remained within inside her. So they were testing her and it was uh, her sister's DNA. So yeah, really extreme condition. They didn't even know it existed and Eventually, they convinced Washington State that the, you know, the kids were hers. They just that uh, she had two sets of DNA. It's a fact about a guy called MacArthur Wheeler. Right? I don't know if you've heard of this guy. I've not heard of MacArthur, no. Back in 1995, he decided to rob a bank. And he'd done it in broad daylight. Um, and he was arrested a day later. When like the police stopped him and showed him the surveillance footage, he kept saying, but I was wearing the juice. I was wearing the juice. And like the officers managed to get out of him. That because he's heard that lemon juice Brilliant. could be yeah. used as invisible ink. He assumed if he put lemon juice on his face that the camera wouldn't be able to pick him out when he'd become invisible. Wow, smart guy. So that is smart MacArthur guy. Wheeler, everyone. I'm surprised they caught him. I'm surprised they caught him Genius. As well. My next fact is about the, the Doma tribe. 25% of the population have this rare condition called Etrodactyl, which means that they each have two toes and they're missing the middle three toes and their feet end up looking like crab's claws or ostrich feet. So like Ninja Turtles feet? A little bit like Ninja Turtles feet, yeah. So they're big and they obviously they can't run properly, they can't walk properly, uh, but they it, apparently it does help them climb trees better. And because they're such an exclusive community, again, you're not allowed to marry outside of the tribe, no one's allowed to marry into the tribe, the condition just keeps getting passed around and passed around. Number two. This is my last fact. It involves Cuba. And between 1986 and 1994, uh, the Cuban government uh, quarantined those living with AIDS to a centurion um, in Havana. And um, in the late 80s, a group of rock music fans, people known as the Freakers, began to rail against Castro's repressive government. And in 1989, as part of the political protest, the Freakers began to inject themselves with HIV in order to be sent to the centurion wow. and avoid military service and forced work. Wow. Okay. The numbers of self-injected carriers spiraled as people began injecting themselves with infected blood in order to be with the partners who had been quarantined, um, okay, while others yeah. gave themselves the illness, access to food and facilities inside the centre room, which could not be found outside yeah. of okay, so the Okay, so they had a better life inside, yeah. 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 By 1992, over 200 people, some of as young as 15, had self-injected the virus. Um, That's crazy. Today, however, like, the majority of those self-injected have died, and the act is largely being ignored by officials who instead try to claim the freakers sexually transmit the virus rather than inject it themselves. That's a pretty damn strong fact. One. My last fact uh, is about a recent discovery. Yeah, some Danish scientists announced that they developed a chemical crystal that will let people breathe underwater. So you have to have oxygen That's tanks, ridiculous. you have to have masks, but this crystal can basically filter oxygen out of the water and you can breathe it in through the crystal. They were saying that um, a bucket full of this crystal will suck all the oxygen out of the room and inside to the crystal. It's really expensive to make, hopefully, eventually, you'll be able to just go, go swimming under the sea. Well, there you go. That's 10 facts. Five from me, five from Dave. Um, yeah, as we kept said at the beginning, let us know in the comments who you thought had the better facts. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Yeah. Um, let us know what you thought about this new format. Let us know you. Definitely. Let us definitely. know what you, what, you, what, what you want to see more. Um, and don't forget to subscribe. Cool. Yeah, and we'll see you next week. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Backwards. Oh, mate. Oh, that's, oh, that's disgusting. <laughs> get out.